All right, guys, Hellspawn again. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the new bus that I'm collecting, and that is the Hard Hero uh, Transformers busts. Um, they're based on the G1 style and designs. Um, and not only are they based on the G1 style and designs, but they are actually sculpted and painted to look like the cartoons. They're not realistic. There's no, there's not really any detail to them. There's no shading. It's all just like the cartoon. Solid colors and uh, very simplistic, um, which I like, which is cool. It's like taking something off the cartoon screen and putting it right there in your house. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think there's 13 or something like that. There's a whole bunch of them in the in the set. Uh, before they stop making them, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I've got six of the twelve or thirteen that they have. Uh, obviously, Optimus Prime. Uh, really cool. Uh, he's about six to seven inches tall. Uh, about six inches to the top of the head. If you want to include the gun, he's seven or eight inches tall, about eight inches. Um, paint job's really nice. They're made out of cold cast porcelain, uh, and then painted. Uh, if you look it over real quick, I'll give you a nice little 360. Um, really neat. Super true to the cartoon. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what you would expect Optimus Prime to look like in three dimensions if you pulled him right off the cartoon screen, uh, which is really cool. Uh, there's no articulation to it or anything like that. It is what it is. Um, like I said, for what it is, the sculpt is fantastic, the paint is fantastic, uh, it, they accomplished exactly what they wanted to, and that was to sculpt a bust, a series of busts, uh, based upon the cartoon that looked like the cartoon. Um, so anybody that's a G1 fan is going to love these things. Uh, not to mention, they're super cheap. If you go on eBay, uh, you can usually find these things for less than 40 bucks almost any of them, including the Devastator one, which I actually have on the shelf over there. I think I got the Devastator for $22 or something like that, and he's literally three times bigger than Optimus Prime. So even a huge bust like that, just wait it out. Don't buy the first one you see, uh, because you can generally find them for a really good price. Um, most of mine that I've gotten, I've gotten for under $25, and that's with shipping included. This guy right here was actually 25 bucks with free shipping. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. The Optimus Primes, I haven't seen them go for much less than like $50. I just happened to find a guy that had one uh, buy it now, 40 bucks, or best offer with free shipping, and I offered him 25 told him I'd pay immediately, and uh, he accepted it. So, um, this guy right here, actually, if you look at the bottom, Transformers, Optimus Prime, uh, Cold Cast Porcelain Bust, sculpted by Raven Hood, whatever that means, and he's number 1,306 of 7,000. Uh, it's made by Hard Hero Enterprises, 2001, uh, www.hardhero.com. Um, the one thing that I do have to say about these busts is, Jesus Christ, they stink. And I, uh, I don't mean that they aren't cool or they don't look good. They literally stink. I don't know if it's the paint or if it's the porcelain or what it's made out of, but they smell horrible. When you first take them out of the container, like the package and the styrofoam and all that, it's like, ugh. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty gnarly. Uh, and if you get enough of these guys in a small, confined area without very good ventilation, uh, you can definitely tell that uh, you've got a collection of these things on your shelves. So, uh, do take that into consideration if you have any type of weird gag reflex or anything like that. Um, after they've been out of the box for a while, oh God, see, it still smells. I, I, and I can't even, it's been out of the box for a while, and it's gotten a lot better. You can't really smell it unless you actually put it up to your nose. But literally, it, sm <laughs> it smells like sour milk in, like, an old gym sock. I, it's, it's, it's a very distinct, very unique brand of funk uh, that's hard to, uh, hard to pinpoint. But uh, it's, <laughs> it's not pretty. Uh, although the bust itself is. But anyhow, like I said, uh, if you guys are Transformers fans, <laughs> excuse me, uh, especially G1 stuff, um, this is definitely for you, and the price is definitely right. So uh, you guys pick some of these up, and let me know what you think.